Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is November the 30th, 2021. And before we jump into things, I wanted to talk about my 10,000 subscriber party, which should be coming up before Christmas. I'm going to be selling double Masters packs for $16 each and Commander Legends packs for $40. I do have my comment pinned, so please check that out if you want to be part of that opening. It would mean a lot to the channel, and I hope to have fun with you guys. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis so thank you very much now let's get moving starting the list off here today with shivan dragon this is the fifth edition reprint of this card down 10.95 percent today from 10.59 to nine dollars and 43 cents Next up on our loser section is Cryptolith, right from Shadows over Innistrad. This enchantment is down 11.07 percent from 10.03 to 8.92. Next up is Wedding Ring. This is the extended art version of the card that still hasn't had the artwork updated on MTG Stocks, but this card is down 13.76% from 4209 to 3630. And we've got Cursed Totem from Mirage. This card is down 13.81% from 833 to 718. Next up on our loser section is Planner Void from Urza's Saga. This enchantment is down 19.04% today from 709 to 574 as this card retraces from its all-time highs. Next up is Hell's Caretaker, a rare from Legends, and this card is down 25.59% from 9392 to 69.89. And our last loser of the day is Gruul Signet from the Secret Layer series. This card is down 36.58% from 462 to $2.93. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are starting the list off here with Arid Mesa. This is the reprint from Modern Horizons 2, and it's up 9.58% from 1837 to $20.13. Now the original copy from Zendikar is sitting at about $19.89 on the market, and the reprint from Modern Masters 2017 is at $19 currently on the market. This card is seeing a lot of play in the modern format in decks like Burn and Blink, and also commander decks like Edgar Markov and even Omnath locus of creation and the next winner we have on our winner section today is olivia crimson bride from innistrad crimson vow this vampire is up 9.79 percent from 1042 to 1144 now the showcase version of this card is currently sitting at 2981 on the market and the borderless version is sitting at 1466 on the market this card is seeing a lot of play in standard jun midrange and even rakdos vampires as well as commander decks like stefan mar progenitor and even edgar markov Next up is another Fetchland Bloodstained Meyer from Cons of Tarkir. This card is up 10.55% from $31.66 to $35. Now, the original printing of this card from Onslaught is currently sitting at $97.63 on the market, and this card is seeing a lot of play across a variety of formats like Modern Jund, Death Shadow, and even Burn decks and Rakdos Midrange, as well as Commander decks like Edgar Markov and Lord Windgrace. And our next mover is Dryad of the Elysian Grove from the Secret Lair series. And this card is up 11.31% from $12.73 to $14.17. The original printing of this card from Theros Beyond Death is currently sitting at $11.76 on the market. And this card is seeing a lot of modern play in decks like Amulet Titan and even 5-color Omnath, as well as commander decks like Sithis Harvest Hand. And our next mover of the day is another Fetchland, Misty Rainforest, and this is the reprint from Modern Horizons 2. It's up 11.95% from 2602 to 2913. Now, the original printing of this card from Zendikar is currently sitting at 3495 on the market, and the Modern Masters 2017 reprint is at 2850. This card is seeing a lot of modern play in decks like Blink, Five Color Omnath, and legacy decks like Is It Delver, as well as Blue. Tinker and Vintage and Commander decks like Omnath, Locus of Creation as well. Next up is another fetch land from Modern Horizons 2. It's Scalding Tarn. It's up 13.47% from 28.72 to 32.59. Now, the original printing of this card from Zendikar is currently sitting at 42.08 on the market, and the reprint from Modern Masters 2017 is at 32.35, so similar to the Modern Horizons 2 price. This card is seeing a lot of play in Legacy, is it Delver, Modern, Merktide, Region, and even vintage decks like Blue Tinker and Commander decks like Omnath, Locus of Creation as well. Next up on the list is Spark Double from War of the Spark. This card is up 14.23% today from 7.10 
to $8.11. This card is seeing a lot of commander play in decks like Toxwell, the Corrosive, Volo, Guide to Monsters, and even Runo, Stromkirk decks as well. Next up on the list is Kira Great Glass Spinner, and this is the reprint from Jumpstart. It's up 15.50% from $7.16 to $8.27. Now, the Betrayers of Kamigawa original printing of this card is currently sitting at $8.39 on the market, so about the same price. This card is seeing a ton of modern play in decks like Merfolk and even Spirit decks as well. Next winner of the day is Deadly Dispute from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, and this instant is up 44.58% from 240 to 347. This card is seeing a lot of standard play right now in Orzhov Control, Golgari Control, and even Abzan Sacrifice as well as Mono Black Aggro. Next up is Tempered Steel from Double Masters. This reprint is up 49.36% from 235 to $3.51. The original printing of this card is a lot cheaper at 93 cents on the market, so maybe you guys can gobble that up because it looks like the other one has spiked. This card is seeing a lot of commander play in decks like Brea, Ethereum Shaper, and even Zabaz, the Glimmer Wasp as well. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. We are starting to list off here with Rule of Law from 10th edition. This card is at 46.88% from 544 to $7.99. And our next foil mover of the day is Circle of Protection Red from 9th edition. This card is up 72.56% from 215 to $3.71. And we've got Sever Soul from Mercadian Mass, an old frame foil up 76.35% from 241 to 425. And we have Rada, Heir to Keld from Planner Chaos. This card is up 76.49% from 736 to 1299. Next winner is Blanche Wood Armor from 10th edition. This card is up 81.75% from 137 to 249. Next foil mover of the day is Darkest Hour from 7th edition. The 7th edition foil is up 84.08% from 59.75 to 109.99. And our next foil mover is Lightning Serpent from Cold Snap. And this card is up 114.38% from 292 to $6.26. And our next foil winner is Ancestral Tribute from Odyssey, another rare old frame foil up 138.06% from 155 to 369. And we have Defender of Chaos from Urza's Legacy, another old frame foil up 481.94% from 72 cents to 419. And our last foil mover of the day is Blessed Orator from Odyssey, an old frame foil up 685.11% from 47 cents to 369. Thank you all so much for taking time to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm? Yes, I'm still trying to grow on this platform. Also, please check out my pinned comment if you'd like to be a part of my 10,000 subscriber box breaks with Double Masters at $16 a pack and Commander Legends at 40 Anyways, I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Mark Movers. So until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.